the Farallon Islands are known as the Islands of the Dead, part of ancient pathways still tended by the Miwok, Oholon, and other First Nations as sacred. In December 2021, the Coastal Commission will decide whether to approve a proposal by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to use helicopters to drop at least one and a half tons of highly poisonous anticoagulant rodenticides on the Farallons. The same rodenticides banned by the state of California earlier this year, in part for the detrimental effects they have had on ecosystems. This highly mobile poison won't only be consumed by the mice, but will be eaten by other birds, raptors, and will get into the water killing fish, turtles, and marine mammals. This plan would sicken an entire ocean ecosystem. This video shows the aftermath of a similar rodenticide drop on Lahua Island near Kauai in Hawaii. During the three poison applications, three incidents of pilot whale beachings were observed. The rodenticide killed a lot more than just mice. After a similar poison drop on Wake Island in Guam, U.S. Air Force scientists recommended a three-year fishing ban after testing fish for Bradyficum, the same rodenticide planned to be dropped on the Farallons. It is not yet well understood how this rodenticide impacts food webs, especially in non-lethal doses. At Wake Island, fish tested three years after the poison drop still contained residues. Because these types of rodenticide drops occur exclusively on islands, there is little oversight and public visibility. Two organizations, Island Conservation and Point Blue, stand to make a lot of money from a sole source contract if this plan is approved. And they don't plan to stop with the Farallon Islands. There are over 250 other islands off the coast of California alone that they plan on targeting with the same quote unquote urgent plea to the US Fish and Wildlife Service for helicopter rodenticide drops. The argument is that rodenticide drops are the way mice and rats have been eradicated from islands in the past. It's true that poison drops are the oldest tried and true method, but just because this is the way it's been done for a while doesn't mean it's the best. Gas vehicles are the most proven form of transportation, but we know we need to switch to electric. Coal plants are the most proven way of producing electricity, but we know we need to use more solar and wind. Dropping literally tons of rodenticides on islands has been the way rod rodents have been removed from islands in the past, but that doesn't mean we should keep on doing it, especially off the coast of California. In California, our Coastal Commission has the final say on whether large-scale rodenticide applications will be allowed on our offshore islands. They are accepting public comments right now via email and in person at their December 2021 meeting. It is crucial that people speak up in opposition to this plan if there is any chance of stopping it. There are much safer alternatives, including contraceptive bait that could be used to remove the mice. An environmental restoration paradigm that aims to restore a whole ecosystem by focusing on one species is fatally flawed.